I'm going to make my Moravian sugar cake. I've had this recipe for oh, about 40 years maybe that was given to me by a gentleman I used to work with. Um, there are lots of different recipes for Moravian sugar cakes. You've probably had, had one of these cakes, and if you haven't, you're in for a big treat. Some of them use regular mashed potatoes, but I'm using potato flakes in this particular recipe. It makes the recipe easier, and I like the way it comes out. Before you joined me, in my mixer bowl, I put in a half a cup of warm water, a half a teaspoon of sugar, and two tablespoons of yeast. And I mixed it up and I let it sit here for 15 minutes. And now it's nice and bubbly. So the rest of this recipe is going to go by fairly quickly because it's just put everything in and mix it up. So I'm going to start with two tablespoons of powdered dry milk. Here's that half a cup of my potato flakes, my instant mashed potato flakes, a half a cup of regular white sugar, two eggs, half a teaspoon of salt, three quarters of a cup of warm water, then I have one stick or one half cup of melted butter, which I let cool because you don't want to add anything that's too warm to the yeast to kill it. And lastly, one cup of flour. Now, so far you can see this is a fairly easy recipe. I'm going to put this on my mixer and I'm going to mix it until it's a smooth dough. Now that that's fairly blended, I'm going to add in three cups more of flour. I'm just going to give this a little wipe down on the sides. I'll add about half of it to start and then I'll come back and add the other one and a half. All right, that's pretty much blended. It's not 100% done. So I'm going to add the balance of my flour. And now I'll just put it back on and let it come to a nice smooth dough. That's masked up into a nice smooth dough. A little on the shaggy side, but this it's not that important in this particular recipe that it be smooth. Okay, so I'm going to just clean that off. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this dough into a greased bowl. I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap, and then I'm going to let it sit at room temperature for about one hour. It's really more, not that I'm going to get a lot of rise out of it, I'll get some, but I really want it to kind of rest and not be quite as elastic because we're going to spread this out onto a pan later on. So one hour and I'll be back to finish it. Our Moravian sugar cake has been rising for about an hour. Well, the dough has anyway. And so, ooh, yeasty smelling. I've got a half sheet pan here. You need one with sides and I sprayed it with a non-stick cooking spray. And now I'm just going to dump that out there. And it's a matter of just using your hands to spread it to fill the pan. And just try to keep it as even thickness as you can so it's not like one big bump somewhere. And believe it or not, this is going to rise again. And after it rises, we're going to add the sugary topping on it and it'll rise again. I think that's what makes this cake so good because it's of all the risings. It just 
tastes rather light and fluffy. And that's really about it. You can take your time and just, you know, make it nice and even and pretty. I'll work at it just a few more minutes, but I'm just gonna put a tea towel over it and let it rise again. And then I'll come back and show you how to put the toppings on. A Moravian sugar cake has had its last rise. Well, uncovered. It looks kind of bumpy like the craters of a moon. And I'm going to, with my two fingers, I'm going to make holes. Just puncture down. These little holes are going to grab all the wonderful stuff we're going to put on top of it and make it taste even better. Okay, now, what I have here is I took one cup of light brown sugar and three teaspoons of uh, cinnamon, and I just smashed it together. And now I'm gonna sprinkle it all over the cake. See how it's falling into all those little divots I made? And yes, use it all. Don't say, oh, that looks like enough. Come on. It's strusel. So I'm make sure I get the edges. And then I also have here one stick of butter. There's my oven at 375, heat it up getting ready for our cake. I have one stick of melted butter that I cooled down just a little. No one said this was a diet recipe. If you want a diet recipe, you've come to the wrong place. I'm going to drizzle it on, and this will just really make that struzzly topping even better. Let's get it all out of there. And now this is going to go into that 375 degree oven for anywhere from 15 to 18 minutes or so or until a skewer put into it comes out clean. So into the oven it goes. Here's our Moravian sugar cake out of the oven. You can see it's still bubbling. I can't cut into it, but I'm going to let this sit here and cool down a bit and just let that crust get nice and gooey and ooey. And it is so delicious. It, you saw how easy it was. Yes, there's a few risings, but it's not that bad. Try it. I'm sure you'll love it.